Welcome back, this is my boy Gia Adam Slink. How you guys doing? Welcome to another crazy video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Today is another Sunday, guys, and I hope you went to church and, uh, of course, to pray for your loved ones. I don't know why you guys are not paying attention to a very trendy topic concerning the kidnapping, killing in Anabra State. Three super cops were recently uh, being investigated, and this lover is the site that has been exposing these uh, idiot's crimes. Please go and check out that update. Check out that news. Read more about it. It's all over on Twitter. I don't know why Nigerians are not paying attention. The news is not trendy. That news is not trendy. Just go and check it out, guys. So meanwhile, we have so many other stuff to discuss in this video. We're going to check out uh, Naramali Korobidi and uh, Tuntu DK. And uh, of course, we're going to check out Chris uh, Ten Atsu who recently was found under the rubber and uh, died. He's a very popular, legendary Ghanaian footballer. May soon continue to rest in paradise. But firstly, let's start with Coral Bidi. Coral Bidi has finally gotten herself on Noda Kukumba. What I mean by Noda Kukumba is that she has finally gotten herself another man. <laughs> yeah, we thought, some of you thought that Cora and Justin might get back to each get back together but hey, it doesn't look like they are getting back to you know, together again and Cora, i don't understand though you'll be ninja babe i think i do precisely what are you doing with white dude i thought after dating justin and and uh, discovering that justin was a monster according to her she will never date a white dude again you left justin the white dude and now you're going to another white dude Come on, as B, is there anything special in these white guys that we guys are not seeing? I was thinking she's going to go back to date uh, a black guy. But now she's going back to another white guy. I think it's about time, eh? Whenever this girl is complaining about any injustice and something being done to her in a marriage, we shouldn't be uh, taking her seriously again. Because we expected you to go... To a black guy now not test the black guy as a real boyfriend you left a white guy who was uh, a jackass according to you now you are going to another white guy why not try black guy first and see if there will be a difference well it's our choice though that's where i'll be there for you then i wonder what justin will be thinking now <laughs> justin no matter how the hatred that justin will be extremely jealous i think so extremely extremely jealous so you know speaking of jealousy turn to dk and his s husband church ill are very much into it you know fighting and uh, quarreling over his a a child you know i did a live yesterday a live video and honestly in that live video i wholeheartedly supported church ill but I had to rethink, and I was thinking about it. Okay, why is it that uh, okay they have been talking back and forth? Why is it that I think Church Hill should put something? I said, okay, turn to DK. I'm ready to pay for my child's school fees. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to do that. Now give me the opportunity for me to see my child. Give me the opportunity to be in my child's life. So let's see. Let's see if Tondo DK will say no. If Tondo DK say no, then we know Tondo DK is the, is the issue. She is the issue. But it seems like, well, let me not just point blame yet. According to Tondo DK, she said, her last post, she said, Think, thinking I have not moved on is the worst mistake you can make. I came out to make a point that you are a liar and a deadbeat father who neither pay fees nor child support to any of your children. This should sink. Learn to be a man from David O. <laughs> no, she mentioned David O's name. You have always been a big fan of his. Adopt his fatherly nature at least to your daughter cause like I said, my child will never need nothing from you, not even your so-called goddamn forsaken name. I ain't gonna be stuck on him. Then she said, 
I haven't got up the stock on the man. I dumped that clown the seven mountains to try to get me back. Nah, bro. Before you check out, I beg, post receipt of school fees and the card account balance. Well, the one her specific about is that she said, be a man and learn from David O. For those of you who know the superstar David O, you know, is one musician that has gained a lot of public love. Public love based on the way he treats his children with this different mother. He doesn't allow his current relationship to determine how he treats his children. Well, you know, uh, we cannot really understand the situation. And honestly, despite me blasting Toto BK yesterday, I honestly still think that Churchill, if truly in his heart, that he really wants to take responsibility. I know it's difficult to. I think he should. You know, since he's going out, posting it all over, she should dare, he, saw, he should dare Toto DK and be like, you know what? I am willing to start paying for my child's school fees. If you are transparent about the school fees and all the feeding and everything, I'm willing to start paying child support. Let us have an agreement. I want to be in my child's life. I bet you, eh, to the we will say no. <laughs> I bet you, but you should just do it because now it's all about, oh, you took my car, sold my car, you do this, you did that, you didn't do this, you didn't did, you do that. Okay, now... You have forgotten all those things. So just be in your child's life. Let's see if Tonodiki will say no or Tonodiki will say yes. Hmm? Well, that aside, let's talk about uh, Naira Mali. And there's this uh, interviewer, his name is Temi. And honestly, I love this guy's uh, interview. <laughs> Recently, he did an interview with a portable. <laughs> Know that uh, portable interview that was uh, that was calling out uh, whiskey David O and Brother Boy. Well, the guy did it, and recently he also decided to host an interview with one ninja well-known gangster girl. Sorry for using the word gangster girl. Her name is Madi. Madi Keys. She talked about. They asked her a question about okay about transactional relationship. Is it okay for a man to pay his girlfriend or not girlfriend for sex? Transactional relationship. You know, usually, usually women will make such statement like stop sexualizing us and trying and stop, se stop sexualizing us and tying our achievement to our vagina. So women will say that, please do not look me above my punani look me above my punani i'm not stop stop sexualizing us the same woman we say you have to take care of me you have to pay my bills you have to give me money pocket money on vacation so that i can love you so i don't understand the difference we say stop sexualizing us and making us look like we are transacting our vagina and the same time you want me to take care of you before being committed to me well let's listen to the interview it's quite really funny and uh, educating at the same time so just have an open mind don't be carried away open mind don't be carried away because i want you to look at the educational part of it and also she also talked about naramali as well so let's do it guys Man, you must have sex and you must not pay. Okay. He has to pay. He has to pay more. Right. Yes. Is it your boyfriend? No, like, let me... Boyfriend. No, that boyfriend is not just like school. A school to just to have fun with me then. No, you have to pay me. This guy's cool. I'm sorry, like, you know. Do you have a boyfriend currently? I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> have you ever had a boyfriend before? 
Let me say, I experienced love last five years ago. Five years? Yes. Do you think a man should pay for sex? Absolutely not. Because um, already, the sex is transactional. Mm -hmm. The 50-50 thing, I mean, not just one person is enjoying, two people are. So uh, if women don't enjoy sex, women should not participate in sex. But as we even know, statistics show that there are more women who are interested in sex than men. So, for the fact, she even pay men for sex. That's Why? My opinion. But do you know one thing? There's no how big, how rich, how beautiful you are. Some guys go still not. You may be saying, we'll go let she she. That one day, I feel just like, as you did like, I'm just like, say, this guy, make my age was day. That one is different. Let me ask you this. Sorry. Okay. You, this. you have sex with a guy. Is it usually in your house? Why in my house? Okay. okay. So it's his place. Maybe no, not even. Hotel. No, no, I can't go to his place. We can, just, we can just be in an apartment, hotel. Like How do you get to the hotel? Who ah. pays for it? You okay, will. Are you expecting me to pay for now, it? Now, when you come for the sex, do you fly there? Don't you come with a car or something? So? A cab, if you don't have a car. So I have a who car. Who pays for it? Ah, who pays for it? You have to pay for everything, yes. So if you pay for everything, I still pay you for knocking. Mm-hmm. Because he wants to enjoy me. So all of that expenses is what? It's on him. Wait, oh, Landy, is he a way good to your party? My brother, in as much you know still, in as much you know keep it, anything, we go bring money to him. But technically, if you do feel you're stealing from somebody. Eh, even like, even like, you know, there's everybody with the baby, baby. Ciao, we ready. Well, there's still more though, there's still more, there's still more, there's still more guys. Ah. This is on March. Do you plan to get married? Everybody wish to pray. Don't want everybody pray for her. No, I... everybody wish for you. Do you plan yeah. to get married? That is not in my distance. Yes or no? Like I don't have Wait, yes Mandy, no. you could like marry. I go like marry. I know, I know, I know fit. I know fit. I know the... marriage is stressful. Yes, let me just give birth. I just want to, I just want one that make it up, one guy may just give me baby. Like two children. Oh mommy take baby. Coco walk him no walk it come. You know, I don't want to say person just give you baby. Hey, make sure they take care of your baby like Baba Mommy, Daddy Lele, told you all my you know, first stress. Why it is stressful? Is there something that happens around you? Yeah. Yeah. That women do that you don't like that yes. you never support. A lot of things. Examples. Uh, I don't like where, uh, women wearing pants. I think they should ban pants. We're in my voice. That's true, Bobo. What's funny? Why is she love? Would it be your idea behind that tattoo? Permanent tattoo of Namali? Let me just say, I love Naya so much. Do you think Namali can one day marry you? Ah, if you have a problem. If for the men for this time, see, they don't feel they would call that tattoo now. If even if you don't marry, if Naya don't marry, may just give me, may just give me one, one picking. May they focus on me, you? Yes. You know, the crazy part about this life is that eh, many nasty guys eh, love the best thing in this life. Nasty girls. Girls, what I mean, like, I, I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, though. But let's just be honest. It's the way you present yourself. That is how people will look at you. If you draw a tattoo with your nose piercing and say, please do not judge me by my appearance, who the hell are you? I'm going to judge you by your appearance because that's exactly how you look. That's exactly how you look. That's exactly how you look. And they use their and One of the things they used to comfort themselves is like, there is every man, there is, there is somebody for everybody on this life. It's a big lie. We are human beings of choices. There is God give us choice. If you follow this way, this is what exactly what you're gonna get. If you follow this way, this is exactly what you're gonna get. So that notion that there is every there is somebody for everybody is a big lie. So the way you dress, that's the way you're gonna be addressed. Hmm? Like looking at Nara Mali now, I'm not saying it's a bad guy. With the way he smokes and everything, you see the kind of people he attracts. <laughs> you see the kind of people he attracts. You piercing your mouth is black because of i don't know maybe, maybe or something you are eat you have eaten you bow or something and you still want the best things in life you will still want the best guy 
You still want a guy that will get you pregnant and also take care of your, your child. A rich guy. Come on, man. Kai. Well, like I said before, I mean no disrespect to anyone. And uh, that aside. So, let's move forward, guys. First, uh, lastly, I want to talk about uh, Christian Atsu. If I'm pronouncing that well, he recently lost his life. Not recently. You know, this old issue in that country. And uh, for days now, they have been uh, looking for him. And uh, fortunately... He was found under the rubber on her life. So a gentle soul going to rest in peace. And if you check at his story now, people coming out to talk about how good he was. Evil Crazy Clown uh, revealed that this guy in 2015 reached out to him and told him he's going to pay all, he's going to take care of all his uh, educational field until he graduated. And he did that. And people, you know, people say whenever he's coming back to Ghana and bring things, do this charitable work and so on. You know, big up to him, man. You know, when you're alive, people don't really know exactly what you're doing. But when you are gone, this, this is the kind of reputation every human being should live. Like, okay, if I'm alive, if I'm gone, then people can say really nice things about me. There are people in this life, and if they are gone, then people are happy. They don't even say anything nice about them. Nobody, no single soul can say anything nice about them. There are people like that. And they let somebody say, Kai, when this guy was alive, this guy was great, was nice, he has no issue. He just did on his own. No, he's very, very kind. You know, something like that. But thank you guys for watching the boy again. I'm Sling. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time. Peace.